Welcome to the Home Server Show podcast. This is video podcast number one. Today we're going to be upgrading our HP Media Smart server. Uh, we're going to be upgrading the RAM from 512 to 2 gigabytes. So if you check the homeservershow.com, you will find all the links to the instructions that you can print out and help you. And you can also find a link to the uh, RAM that uh, the community has embraced to uh, do the upgrade. So this upgrade is not sponsored by HP, nor is it uh, endorsed by Microsoft. But HP has recently uh, stated that they will allow home upgrades of the MediaSmart server, and it will not void your warranty. But they have not come out with any type of formal instructions. So this is uh, only meant to be a video guide if you have not cracked open a case before. And even if you have uh, the MediaSmart server, is a, a little bit different so you may want to check uh, everything out and uh, if you're just curious on what is in the inside you're gonna get a nice uh, clear concise video well as clear as I can make my first video podcast so let's take a look and upgrade the media smart server now before we get started on this upgrade you're gonna to want to go into your Windows home server your Windows home server console click settings and then scroll down on the left to resources tab and click that and in the middle you're going to see the home server HP media smart server and it's going to show you how much RAM you have in that right now now mine says 479.45 so and when when we're done with the upgrade we'll come back to this screen and check out what we have within the same settings tab you'll notice the shutdown button you will want to go ahead and shut down your media smart server and unplug everything remembering where it all goes and then get to a nice comfortable safe spot where you can lay out all the parts and have plenty of elbow room in which to make this upgrade don't try to do this in a cramped closet pull pull out your media smart server and give it the room it deserves because you're gonna have a lot of parts and a lot of tools laying around on the homeservershow.com website I'll have a link to the instructions that I, I use throughout the video I'm using the homeserverhacks.com uh, upgrade your memory uh, instructions published by Donovan West. So thank you, Donovan, and go to the uh, homeservershow.com for that link so you can print out your own. Okay, so we're ready to go. We have the instructions that I've printed off from Home Server Hacks. I have a standard screwdriver, which I'm not sure if I'm going to need, but I have a trusty Sharpie marker in which to label things. And right here we've got a jeweler's screwdriver set. If, uh, if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it for one of the steps that we're about to perform. And um, uh, it's, a, it's a Phillips small size. We have a penny to unlock our drives. And we also have the memory upgrade which we've purchased. So let's get going. Um, first thing we need to do is get our hard drives out. So we're going to use our trusty penny and uh, unlock with that marring the system we hope and then we're going to remove the hard drives and what we need to do here is um, when we replace the hard drives we need to replace these in exactly the same spot so we need to either label or develop a foolproof system so that's why I have the handy dandy uh, marking tool and we're going to go ahead and mark those so the bottom is going to be your system drive so let's go ahead and pull that out so we're going to go ahead and mark this before we get started. I'm just going to mark that SYS. And then we're going to place that on the bottom. So let's go ahead and call that, apologize, call that system or drive one. And that is SYS and drive one. Let's get drive two just give it a 2. Stack that on drive 1, drive 3, and drive 4. So we've labeled those even before we've removed them so we can surely get those in the right in the right spot when we uh, go back to putting our home server back together. So let's go to our directions and figure out what's going to be next. Looks like we need to remove the top by sliding the silver plate forward. 
And this is the step that uh, says it's going to take a little bit of effort. Okay, so we'll grab the back. I'm having trouble keeping the door open. And it slides right off. Okay, now we have the top off. Pretty simple, as you can see, that there was a, uh, a tab that is holding it in place. See that tab on the top? And it slides right onto the Media Smart Server. Our two fan cables are right here. Okay, our two fan cables are right here and right here. And we need to label these. So the easiest way is to just turn him on his front. And let's label one of these. Looks like there's already some blue tick marks on our two fan cables. So we're going to label, I'm going to put a tick mark here, and a tick mark here, and the directions say that you can label these with different colors, and I highly recommend doing that. But I'm going to label this one on the right, and I have my two tick marks. and they easily remove. Next we have the two, uh, the actual cable that controls the LEDs on the front and that one is unique so we're just going to pull it out just like so. Okay, so we have those loose, now we need to go after these two blue uh, retaining clips. So these two plastic levers are supposed to ah, click down so we have everything nice and loose. We have our two bl blue clips undone. So now we're supposed to pull the back plane up. And we do that by opening the doors. Let me give you a little bit of a heads up here. Let's zoom in and look at the back plane card. And you see the back plane card is w well within the server. And that's where all the drives hook into. That is supposed to raise up with a little bit of effort. So let's give that a shot. You definitely don't want to uh, push up on the uh, serial ATA connections. Connections. You'll see the, the power in the uh, in the data uh, serial ATA connection on the back of your back plan. You can see those there. Definitely don't want to raise with that. You want to slide your fingers in and raise on the back of the card itself. I don't have my blue clips all the way. <laughs> ah, hope that was a good sound. So we got that. Okay, slide the back plane out. Actually, it doesn't slide straight up. It's uh, it's moving backwards and then coming coming straight up. And looking down well within the home server, you can see the uh, the connection that it's uh, sitting into. So it's a nice big uh, back plane card and. Uh, Here's what you can see when I was reaching in, when I was reaching in to pull this up, I was using my fingers at the bottom and, uh, and pushing up and not on the connector. So we're going to lay that aside. Okay, next we're supposed to go for the, the front of the system. And this is where our jeweler screwdriver is going to come, in, come into play. Take our small Phillips jeweler screwdriver and we're supposed to take off this module right here. So if you look very carefully, there is a screw here on this side, and I'm looking for the other screw. It is right here. So it is right here. Now I'm going to see if I can zoom in on this and let you see what exactly is going on as we do this. So I'm going to undo this screw. And you definitely want to get the right size screwdriver for this operation or otherwise you're going to uh, rip the threads right out of this thing. So, or uh, actually rip the head off trying to get it with a screwdriver that's not the correct size. Now, the directions say that this was supposed to spring and in fact it has sprung so I'm going to have to push this back and get our screw out. Okay, I've set my two screws 